Ryan Wathen is in the business of helping companies avoid unionization. He's getting plenty of calls lately. This month's vote to start a union by Amazon warehouse workers in Staten Island, New York, sent a jolt through employers across the country. They're nervous that if Amazon, worth $1.5 trillion, couldn't prevent workers from organizing despite spending $4.3 million on anti-union efforts last year, what chance do they have? It woke them up, Wathen said. I think people realize no one is safe anymore. Approximately 2, 600 Amazon employees voting pro-union in New York is causing ripples that may affect millions of workers and their bosses across the country. Some companies are taking no chances, even if their employees have shown zero interest in unionizing. Consultants like Wathen are advising them to educate workers on labor law and the process of collective bargaining, noting that it can take years to negotiate a contract and there's no guarantee that pay and benefits will improve. They're urging companies to speak to their employees about concerns such as bad bosses and lack of pay raises and act quickly to address them. Workers will generally not unionize unless there are issues, said Peter List, CEO of Culture, a labor relations consultancy. If a company wants to stay union-free, they have to stay issue-free. Union membership has been in decline for decades, falling to 10. 3% of the American workforce in 2021, down from about twice that in 1983, but there's been increased momentum during the pandemic. Petitions to form a labor union shot up 57% in the last six months, according to the National Labor Relations Board, with campaigns at Amazon, Starbucks, John Deere, Kellogg's and REI among the highest profile. Labor unions are also enjoying the most public support since 1965, with two-thirds of Americans saying they approve of them, according to Gallup. Winning is contagious, said Janice R. Fine, a labor studies professor at Rutgers University. Workers are seeing what's possible. Keeping the unions out is a knee-jerk reaction by businesses concerned that collective bargaining will usher in higher costs and lower profitability, plus give them less control over their organizations. Employers pay one-third more for union workers versus non-union workers, according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Those higher costs might force the company to raise prices, hire fewer workers or invest less in the business, in turn making them less competitive in the marketplace. <laughs>